Good evening, dear all. I'm going to dive into sorrow with you. A short introduction of myself is, uh, my name is Edwin Frerichs. I'm from Holland. And um, I uh, noticed that many, many people are uh, looking for happiness in their lives, looking for life treasures. And so I decided to, to become the treasure finder. And the treasure finder helps people shine and helps people find their personal life treasures. I'm uh, a bit cheating tonight because I'm not going to talk by heart, but I'm going to read you a story. And so I'm going to sit down also. And this, the story is, call, is called Speech is Silver, Crying is Golden. And it starts with the question, how can you cope with sorrow? Later on, my personal answer, first of all, a story. Once upon a time, a little boy lived in the home. It was comfortable, warm and safe. It was like heaven. As it was time to be born, he tried and tried, but it didn't succeed because something around his neck was holding him back. That something more and more tightened him and made him feel miserable. The little boy wanted to move, but the more he tried, the more he became short of breath. He was sad and afraid. Suddenly, he found himself being in a bright light and a deafening noise. He gasped, was surprised by coldness and cried. Gradually, the little boy got used to his new world. He liked being with his mother, father and sister. But every time when darkness fell and he was alone, the fear which he felt during birth grabbed him by the throat. Shh, it's okay. He heard whispering in his ear when he cried. Shh. But what was the reason that he wasn't allowed to cry? Surely that was just what he needed, wasn't it? After a couple of hours, he always fell asleep. But as soon as he woke up during the night, the fear immediately returned. Again and again evening after evening, night after night. It seemed endless. Only after more than a year, something changed. Again, he woke up and again, he was sad and afraid. But this time, his daddy took him to the living room in the middle of the night and laid him on the couch with his daddy right next to him. This time, nobody told him to hush. He finally was allowed to cry, as loud and as long as he wanted. That was exactly what he needed, and this was the time and place to do it. He could feel that Daddy was totally ready now. His feelings were allowed to just be there. No soothing words or nervous cradling, but the space to feel and express those feelings. At last, his tears could flow, and with each tear and sob, he felt lighter inside. After about an hour, he was completely peaceful. He was out of tears and out of sadness. His hands reached for his daddy. Everything was okay now. And he fell asleep with a smile on his face without any trace of fear and sadness. 
This little boy is Luke, our son. His progress was enormous after that memorable night. And today, he is exactly seven years and 15 days old. And he's a cheerful boy. Therefore, my personal answer to the question, how to cope with sorrow is, Thank <laughs> you.